All right, so let's have a little cool story time. I know folks like this type of content on YouTube, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's my choice where I decide to share this at. Um, but it's 100% your choice if you decide to watch it. Uh, so as, as you might have seen in my carousel post uh, before this video, I, you know, I've been shooting my shot with different incubator programs that, or accelerator programs, sorry, accelerator programs that offer monetary support as well as um, 12 weeks of uh, mentorship support in exchange for like 7% uh, of your company. It's pretty much venture capitalists looking to build and nurture startup businesses internally before like fully investing in them and then helping them go out to raise capital. And I've applied to many of them. Some of them are some like really big ones, um, some really small ones that no one uh, or people are still learning about. And I've been pretty much denied by all of them. You would think that this is, it, it's, don't get me wrong. This shit is frustrating. It's frustrating. It's, it's tiring because the applications are pretty long. They ask for a lot of information. They'll ask you for a pitch video, but it's part of the process. You would think like something like this would make you just say, Hey, fuck it. I quit. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, Maybe this idea is not worth it. Maybe people don't believe in what it is that I'm trying to do. Whatever, whatever like narrative you begin to develop in your brain. For me, I'm required to take a step back, like, and take a couple hours, think about it, pro go through the process, let those real, like, real thoughts occupy my brain for a few minutes, and then I gotta go. I gotta keep going. So within the last two days, I received two more denials. Um, one was a grant program, so it wasn't necessarily a accelerator program. The other one was a 12-week accelerator program that would have required me to relocate um, from Georgia to another state for three months um, before coming back home to Georgia, which means I would have been away from my family um, and I only would have seen them like on the weekends and holidays, which over the last 10 years has not been something that was normal for me. So how am I feeling? I... I'm okay. I am okay with it. I am okay with not getting the thing that I want. I have grown to become this way because I promise you, uh, I wasn't always like this. Until you start, like, once you get, like, into a service base, like, especially, like, coming from running a traditional video production company where you have people, like, cold email you and say, hey, we want to hire a black-owned video production company or we want to hire your video production company. We love what you're doing. And then you go through the process you uh, have the meetings, then another meeting for them to just say, hey, we don't think you're a good fit. You kind of start to build this, I don't want to necessarily say shell, but that's essentially it. You start to build this shell of if I am told no now or I'm denied now, it does not mean no forever. It just means not right now. And I know some of you have probably heard this before. And that's, that's literally what it is. It just means not right now. Maybe not right now with them. Maybe not right now with the money that you're looking for. Maybe not right now with the organization that you're looking at. It's 100% fine. But what do you keep doing? You keep going. Um, you're going to cry about it. You're going to get frustrated about it. You want to curse people out. You're going to feel like you should quit. You're going to feel like the people around you aren't supporting you enough. Therefore, they're not fueling your vehicle enough to push you to the things that you want. All that shit is fine. I dead promise you all that shit is fine. But quitting is not. Um, especially if you're, I, I don't think passion is enough, <laughs> right? I don't think passion is enough. Passion is not big enough. If you know what you are going out to do is going to help people at scale, fuck up a little bit. I'm talking at scale. If you know this shit that you're going out there to do is going to help so many people in the world, that is the motivation to keep going because it is so big. It is so grandiose that people are really looking at you like, how do you think you can accomplish this? Like, who do you think you are to go out and try to do this? And that's why you go. And that's why you do it. That's why you lock in. Um, I got to see if I could find it, but there was this old clip. I think it was Draymond Green. <laughs> I think it was Draymond Green, and he was talking about another player from an opposing team. I think they scored. It might have been Westbrook he was talking about. I think Westbrook might have did like 71 points, 71, 74. If I'm wrong about the players in this, so be it. I don't care. But the point is, is that uh, whether it's Draymond or another player, they get to the podium um, for the conference after the game, and they were like, yeah, I looked at the stats. Yeah, he scored 74 points, or maybe it was 54 points. Yeah, he scored 54 points, 74 points, but he had to shoot 70 times. 
and people laughed about it because they was like, oh yeah, that's that's inefficient. The accuracy was off. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And that's cool. We're talking sports. I guess that for everyone else who the, the, like the sports lovers out there, efficiency and accuracy is a must have. But in this shit right here, like that you're doing, like in this shit right here, like efficiency and accuracy actually needs to be low because you need to be shooting so many fucking times and getting so many fucking no's and just being willing to keep going. I dead promise you because the moment I told my homie Rich, the, the, the time you give up is when you're dead. Go for it. Fucking go for it because it, it'll all fucking pay off. I dead promise you it'll all pay off. And ultimately, that's where I'm at with things. So we received two denials within the last, within, within the day. Like, I can't even say within the last two days. It's like, literally, we got a denial. Today is Saturday. We got a denial this morning and we got a denial Friday night, right? So that was yesterday. Um, it's okay because we have 15 more applications out there. We are gonna get one. And then on top of that, we got 15 more applications that we're about to put in. And then going into Q1 in 2025, we got 30 applications that we're going to put in. And that's for grants. That's for accelerator programs. We're just going to keep going and keep banging down the doors. Get to where I am and where I'm at in life without being this fucking relentless. I didn't get to where I'm at in life by sitting on my hands and praying that everything will figure itself out. I did what I needed to do and like accepting no was not okay. Like, I was not going to take no. I have this really fucking intense mentality. And it, it's, uh, I literally say, I go into business meetings with this Kobe mentality. I am the mamba, right? I am the most lethal snake in the fucking world. But this Kobe mentality that I'm talking about is, you need me. I don't need you. I'm just waiting for you to realize that. Right now in this room, I got the biggest stick. So let's see who can swing harder, me or you. And that is what drives me, right? You can call it arrogant. You can call it cocky. You can call it confident. I don't give a fuck. This is what drives me. This is what pushes me, Andre Manning, to be the best version of myself. I have been, I have competed for jobs to shoot video content for Facebook, to shoot video content for Estee Lauder, to shoot video content for um, New York Presbyterian and State Farm, like and all of those was no's. I kept going. I kept going. When I transitioned from music to this, I kept going. And now I'm transitioning from traditional video production company into this tech company that's creating a marketplace for video content, videographers, social media content. I'm going to get so many no's. I'm only a year in and I'm fucking excited. So those posts that I just shared, it may seem like I should feel defeated and in some ways, 50% of me does, but the other 50% of me is saying, get up, bitch, and keep going. And that's it. That is it. Get up and keep going. Shoot another shot. If I want to score 100 points, I'm shooting 200 times. I don't give a fuck. And I'm going to keep shooting because I'm going to. Matter of fact, I'm lying. If, I, <laughs> if, we're, if we're keeping it real, because... I believe Tim, you, um, you at least ten percent is going in, right? So if I want hundred points, I'm shooting a thousand times. I'm gonna keep going. I am going to keep going, and that is it. The day that my time comes for me to uh, visit the ancestral plane, I will be satisfied with everything that I've done because I gave everything that I fucking got. So, two denials. We got more to come, right? This is not a loss. This is not a loss. This is not a loss. Everything is all about the win. What's going to get me that much closer? And I'm going to just keep going. We're going to tool back up. We're going to get it together. All right? Um, I appreciate anyone who's dropped any kind words in that post and anyone who drops any kind words in this post. I am not putting this video on YouTube. I'm definitely putting it on Instagram, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, man. Share this with a friend who is building a company Oh, 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 wait, wait. Before I even get to that ending, let me not even close things out. So it's, it's so crazy with receiving these two denials, right? Or these two uh, rejections. Receiving these two rejections as far as like receiving a grant or being part of the accelerator program. I was talking to a really good friend of mine. Her name is Shaniqua. Shaniqua is the founder and CEO of Sendback. Um, fucking phenomenal company. I believe it is going to be the, the next unicorn. And I just love the fact that it's founded by a black woman. Um, 
And I'm not going to tell her story about what she was navigating through, but I will tell the story of like, uh, or parts of the story of what we, we discussed. And it was a few weeks back and, you know, just the, the journey of being a founder is rough and it's isolated, right? Um, it's, it's almost like the journey of becoming a recording artist, minus having a crew in a recording studio and, and all other things that come with it. No performances, right? Like we get demo days, but anyway, so she was having just like this rough time and just feeling like the things that she really wanted were not coming to her. Um, and she was seeing uh, the different people around them get these wins. And then it was like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, like, yo, what's up? Like, what's going on here? And, uh, I remember saying to her, keep shooting. Like you, she inspired me to like one day wake up, create my database of, of grants that I can just go for and just keep shooting for and shooting for. Some of them I wasn't even qualified for shooting at it anyway, because I often believe or I often see people deny themselves before the organization has denied them. So I'm kind of like, hey, how can I move through this like a mediocre person, right? Like, I'm just going to shoot every shot, shoot every shot. I'll let you tell me no, but I am not going to tell myself no and not even attempt, right? So just, and then for me to then receive these like rejections, like two weeks after talking to her about this, I sent them to her immediately because that's just part of it. And this is, this is the thing that I've struggled with with social media is if I would have won, chances is I only would have shared those wins and not shared this, I, I don't want this, this rejection, right? Um, but this is the version of social media I want to see is people sharing these rejections, people sharing like, Hey, I submitted four applications. I submitted 30 applications. I submitted 300 applications. I got denied by 275 so far. That is real, right? Because then on the other side, I still want to see that same person who got the 275 rejections say, Hey, after receiving 275 rejections, I submitted 500 more. Because until you are in the ground, there is no reason why you should be given the fuck up. Period. Period. All right. I hate talking into the camera. This is getting uncomfortable at this point. Um, hope you took something away from this. Hope this felt like... Um, I hope this level of transparency is received well. And if not, you can kiss my ass. Uh, um, my name is Dre Manning. I am the co-founder uh, and CEO of Spark Social. We are a digital marketplace of ready to post video content uh, for social media. We are launching so, so soon. Um, and I'm from the Bronx. So can I get a year?